All right, so our objective today, we want to relate fractions, decimals, and percents. What does that word relate mean? Yeah, it means to connect them all together. Um, so I'm going to try to teach this. I just had surgery <laughs> uh, two days ago now, so a little hard to, to work on the computer, but we should be able to get this. So uh, relating fractions, decimals, and percents. So as I was thinking about that, today is a Seahawks game day. So um, I was looking at just a couple of different um, fractions related to football today. So uh, we have this uh, web page that is saying that um, this year, 226 out of 256 of the players who were drafted for uh, football this year um, were multiple sports athletes in high school. So I could write that a couple of different ways. I could write that as a, um, as a fraction. So that is a fraction comparing those two numbers. Um, I could write that as a decimal, right? I could just divide 226, 226 divided by 256. I get 0 0.882. 0.88. But the way we say that normally um, in uh, in life is we could write it as a percent. We say out of 100, if there were 100 people, then 88.2 of those people would be uh, would be the ones who were playing multiple sports in high school. Um, we can write it as a fraction. We can write it as a decimal. But normally in, in life, we write it as a percentage. And why do we do that? Yeah, because it's just easier to wrap our minds around that number, that special number, 100. So we say out of 100, that's the number that, that uh, played high school. We don't really care how many were in the draft. We want to know how many out of 100 played multiple sports. So when we see that, we get this nice little, little chart right here. So it shows that 88% of NFL draft picks played multiple sports in high school, 12%. Uh, only played football. 59% um, played track and field in high school. 49% played basketball in high school. So we can relate fractions and percentage and decimals. So if we were to say um, during his workout, Elon spent 28% of the time on the treadmill. Well, how would we write that as a fraction? You know, we could write that as a fraction. We could say that um, go over to my fraction button, and I would say that 28 one hundredths, one hundredths, um, was the amount of time that he spent on the treadmill. How could I write that as a decimal? Well, that decimal again, um, we just move the decimal back, and we say that 0 0.28. Um, would be our decimal, the the, um, the decimal of the workout, because 28% is 0 0.28, because that would be out of 100, the 100 being the 1, then, then 0.28 is the decimal. All right, so we have a question here. Uh, write the fraction 6 twelfths as a percent and as a decimal. All right, so I have a fraction. I've got 6 twelfths, so we can write that as a fraction. So we can write that as a fraction. We have 6 twelfths. Well, I need to see how that relates, how, how the fraction 6 twelfths relates to a hundred, because we are trying to, uh, trying to get two out of a hundred. So we need, to, we need to get 12 to scale up to a hundred. But I can't quite do that, so I'm going to simplify 6 twelfths. And I know that 6 twelfths, I can divide 12 by 6. So I get um, 6 divided by 6 is 1, and 12 divided by 6 is 2. So I get the fraction 1 half, which is a simplified version of 6 twelfths. Well, now I can scale 1 half up very easily. I can scale up 1 half up to 100 because... 2 times 50 is 100. So 1 times 50 is 50. Oh my goodness. What just happened? Why? Because So 1 times 50 is 50. 
and 2 times 50 is 100. So 6 twelfths equals 50 one hundredths. Well, now what percent is 50 out of 100? Yeah, 50 hundredths is 50 per cent because percent is means out of 100. So we are just going to write that as 50 percent is 6 twelfths is one half, which equals 50 out of 100, which is 50 percent. So I can just write that in as my percent, and I say that I get 50%. Now, what is the decimal version? When I get the decimal version, I'm just dividing 6 divided by 12. So I'm going to divide 6, and I'm going to divide that 6 by 12. Well, 12 goes into 6 zero times, so I'm going to put a 0 up top. Um, then I have a decimal, so 6 point, and I'm going to put a couple of decimals here, 6.000, see how far we go there. So I get a decimal here, and I'm going to have a point, and what do I get? Well, um, 5, 5, because 5 times 12 equals 60. Now 60 minus 60 is 0, so I know that my decimal here is 0 0.5. And I'm just going to put that as a decimal right here. That the decimal version of 6 twelfths is 0 0.5. What if we have a fraction that is greater than 1, larger than a whole amount? So like this one, write 1 and 2 fifths as a percent. Well, that 1 is 100%. If I have one whole amount, if you can imagine your grid with, with, 100, um, with 100 boxes on it, that grid with 100 boxes, well, 1 is 100 boxes filled up. It's the entire amount. So we're going to have 100 and something percent. So more than one whole is 1 and 2 fifths. So what can I do with this? All right, so we're going to write this as a uh, fraction. We're going to convert this into a fraction that is out of 100. And then we're going to write this as a percent. So get your paper out and write with me. So we have 1 and a fraction equals 1 and a fraction equals some kind of percent. Well, what is our first fraction? What do we know? Yeah, our first fraction is 1 and 2 fifths. So 1 and 2 fifths. Well, how does two-fifths relate to 100? Well, we can multiply 5 times what equals 100? 5 times 20. So we know that 5 times 20 equals 100. And if 5 times 20 is 100, then 2 times 20 is going to give us our number out of 100. And what is 2 times 20? You can just use a calculator. You can uh, write it down in your paper. Um, 2 times 20 is 40. So 1 and 2 fifths is equivalent to 1 and 40 hundredths. So how do we write that as a percentage? Well, it's 100 and 40 percent. Because 1 is 100 and 40 percent is 40 percent. So we are going to write that as a fraction or as a percent. 140 percent. All right, our final skill we are going to develop today is we need to relate decimals to percents and fractions. And write 5.46 as a percent and as a fraction. Well, we can relate that. That 5 is 5 holes, 5 entire amounts. So we get 500 percent. It is going to be 5.46. You know that 0.46, that decimal, 4, 6, means 4 tenths and 6 hundredths. So 5.46 is 546%. How about as a fraction? Well, we're going to need to open this up here to, to write that one. And as a fraction, again, we get 5 holes. So we're going to write the number 5 is our 
fraction. And then we're going to have a, uh, a fraction. What is 46%? Yeah, it means it's 46 out of 100, out of 100, 46 hundredths. So I'm gonna check my answer. Here we go. And I could also simplify this fraction, five and 46 one hundredths. I could write that as a different fraction. I can get five holes and then divide uh, 46 and 100. So 46 divided by two is 23. Let's write that down, 23. And 100 divided by two is 50. So I get 23 fiftieths is the exact same amount. All right, students, so you can now relate fractions, decimals, and percents. So go through your presentation and complete every slide, um, write down all your work, then finish a couple of the practice problems. Uh, in order to, to, to relate all those, um, I'm going to suggest that you don't just do one, two, and three, but you do one and then skip a few, then do the next, uh, another one and do all those practice problems, and then make sure that you are ready for your test on Friday. 90% of your grade comes from your quiz on Friday. Um, so you can now relate fractions, decimals, and percents. What does it mean to explain orally and in writing how the place value of a decimal correlates to the place value of a percent? So how does place value connect? What have you noticed as we've been working on this? Let's use a decimal and a percent. So if I had 0 0.26, what does that equal in percentage? Yeah, that equals, equals 26%. What have you noticed about the place value? Yeah, that decimal moved over two places. So the decimal always moves over two places to the right to be a percent. Or if you have a percent, it moves two places to the left to be a decimal. So those decimals and those percent are always connected right there together. Have a great day. I will see you tomorrow.